This is Jason Black making a video for engineering programming. I've made a function and a GUI for the projectile motion project. So something I wanted to include in my project is to have an initial Y value in case there's a differing starting height than from the origin, such as in this problem. And let's actually try out the GUI for this problem. All right, so we see that it starts in zero in the X origin but we see that we have a height of 60 meters in the y direction to start with. The initial velocity is 25 meters per second and theta is going to be 53 degrees. Alright, so as we can see the graph matches up because we start at 60 and then we end at around 90 meters and then let's check the math alright so max height of 80 let's check that max height 80 that checks out x distance of 90 and 91 alright and the reason for the discrepancies is because we used 9.8 meters per second instead of 10 and then as well as the graph, we also have the amount of time, which is 6.08 seconds. Matches up. And then we also were able to calculate the X position where the height is at its maximum, which is at 30.65 meters in the X direction. All right, so now let's try out the function this time. And then how about we try it out for this problem instead. So we have that it starts at the origin looks like. So 0x and 0y. Initial velocity of 10 meters per second at an angle of 53 degrees. So 0, 0, 10, 53. Whoops, I forgot the function. Okay. All right. So as we wait for that graph to finish, we see that we get the max height of 3.25 meters. The X position where height is at its max is 4.9 meters. The total time taken is 1.6 seconds and it travels 9.8 meters. So let's see if those check out. 1.6 seconds, 9.8 meters. All right, so the 9.8 matches up with the 9.6 there. Again, because of the 9.8 meters per second squared instead of the 10 that they use. And then total 1.6 seconds, that matches up as well. And then the use for this function would be for students to check or calculate their answers to physics questions and as well as to check other angles that may be more efficient. So for example, we also have a graph as well as the initial for a 180 degree range at 15 degree increments. So we see here's the motion at 15 degrees, here's the motion at 30 degrees, and then at uh, 45 degrees we could use this graph to determine that at 45 degrees we have the maximum distance. So for example, let's say that John from this problem kicked the ball and wanted to learn how to kick it further they could use this program to see that perhaps if he kicks it at 45 degrees instead of 53 that he can get a more maximum distance.